Hi, it's Nishant here once again with a new video. And today's topic is how to prepare for campus placement for IT companies. You might have heard and experienced that college is the best time of your life and you should make the most of your college experience. Just make sure you have time for fun, friends, party, entertainment, but don't ignore your studies. And most importantly, work hard consistently to get connected with today's hottest employers. Yes, placement should be the primary goal for every student who enters a college. And we all know that campus placement is one of the most stressful phases in college life. So you need to plan and prepare well to get a dream job. For your ability to perform well in an interview, you require three things, attitude, strategic approach and excellent subject knowledge. Even if you are in top institute with 100% placement, you require these skills to get into top notch company. Those who are in an average college, they can also get dream job by practicing these skills consistently. It is the biggest myth that top tech companies like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook hire only students from IITs or NITs. If you do your basic right, you can get into big companies even if you are in tier 3 college. There are two types of companies visiting your campus, product-based company and service-based company. Product-based company have their own products to sell such as Google, Alphabet, Amazon, Facebook, Dell, BMC software, etc. Service-based company are clients of product-based companies such as TCS, Infosys, Wipro, HCL Technology, Cognizant, etc. In product-based company, they conduct more interview rounds and cracking interview is a bit difficult than service-based company. Generally, a service-based company has a fewer interview rounds. Now let's discuss about general selection process or interview rounds of campus recruitment. And the first one is written test. This is the first round of interview for you. These are carried out in order to filter or eliminate the crowd. A company can conduct aptitude test or technical test or both. The exam simply needs to be given in MCQ formats. Be it any job interview, the one thing that is common in selection process is an aptitude test. So make sure you have practiced it well. The test is not very tough like bank exam. You just need to spend 30 to 45 days for this part. Aptitude test is useful for employers to check the problem solving, analytical and decision making ability of the individual. There are a lot of tests available online and some of the good websites that provide quality aptitude questions for various placements are Tutorial Ride, Puzzle Fry, India Bex, Freshers World and Freshers Live. Coming to GD round, some IT companies visiting a campus also conduct GTs. This is also mainly for elimination of the candidates so that only good candidates are left for the interview process. But there are companies that require candidates with good communication so they can also conduct a GD round. They mainly check a candidate's ability to communicate effectively. Well, there are a bunch of websites that you can refer to. But the most reliable of all are CareerRite, IndiaBix, and Freshers World. Alright, so the next round is Technical Round. Technical Round is the most important round in the interview. This is the round where you can showcase your core subject knowledge. And IT companies mainly focus on the programming skills. Most important subject that you must know for any interview are data structures and algorithms. Your performance in them is highly considered. If you are good at these topics, you will be surely hired by big companies. Now, in order to implement DSA concepts, you should know few programming languages such as C++, Java, Python. I would suggest you to get a good command over at least one language. C++, Java being object-oriented programming languages are highly demanded in the market. 
if you know java or c++ you can work on any other technologies python is the simple language you can easily learn it in 15 to 20 days if you know java well and now you may be asked to do a code also so you need to be prepared well there are a lot of platforms available online with a list of coding questions and some of the best website to help learn and practice for this round are as follows tutorial ride india bigs geeks for geeks career cup hacker rank and hacker earth there are also some important topics that you need to brush up for your interview process and they are operating system dbms computer networks and sql when it comes to placement most of the companies do inquire about projects the hiring manager expect candidates to do at least one or two projects during their college tenure and you must be prepared for questions on projects they may have questions about the technologies you used why did you use this particular technology and not other and so on coming to hr round this round is conducted to know the potential candidates personally the interviewer will try to understand your personality background strength weaknesses etc basically they assess if you are good fit for a specific role or not in order to prepare for this round you can make a list of frequently asked questions such as tell me about yourself tell us about your strength weaknesses why do you want to do this particular job and so on just prepare thoughtful responses for each questions your responses should have an impact and give you the chance to highlight your skills and interest in the job and if you are preparing for this round do not miss our video on hr interview questions and answer you will definitely find it very helpful the most important aspect of interview preparation are thoroughly researching the company and the role for which you are going to be interviewed you should know at least basic information about the company and there are pretty informative websites such as classdoor ambition box where you can read about the companies these websites have reviews as well about the interview processes of the companies and that will help you get fair ideas about the selection process you can also get in touch with your placement officer they can give you clear and detailed information about the interview process of a company your college alumni can also help you with their experiences so you can check if any of your alumni works there contact them and take as much information as possible all this information will help you a lot to perform better you have now seen various stages of selection process and ways to deal with it remember one day of preparation is not sufficient for the interview you will need to plan ahead of time the more you practice the more confidence you become and your confidence will help you nail your dream job and that's all about my take on the subject i hope you find this helpful thank you and see you next time